Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. This is Mike Brenner. Today is uh, Tuesday, August 9th. We are continuing our preseason coverage of uh, college football. The topic of today's video, uh, sort of something that we've, uh, we've, just, we've touched on in many of our videos uh, leading up to uh, now. Teams to disappoint in 2016, 2017. So I guess we'll just, uh, you know, summarize all of the, uh, the, the individual teams that we've sort of uh, identified sure, at down. times over mm -hmm. uh, the past bunch of videos that we've done. I guess, uh, Mike, well, first of all, the top two teams, uh, uh, Clemson and Alabama, we kind of agree we don't think they're going to disappoint. Yeah, I don't think there's I mean, any disappointment Hard for there. them to, uh, to, to, to exceed expectations, rank, rank one and two, but I'm not ready to, uh, yeah. to identify either one of them. as Not at all, and that's even after going through both of their schedules. No, yeah. I don't see any disappointment there, Pistol. Then the third option on the, uh, the third short, team with third shortest odds, though, LSU, yes. could be a team disappoint. Not necessarily that I think they're going to be a bad team, mm -hmm. but if you're ranked number three going into the season, you know, most of the ways you can go is down. There's only a little yeah. bit to wait. And why go up. coaching? Les Miles. I've yeah. said it before. you got a guy that was pretty much out the door, all right? Saves his job somehow. On paper, should be absolutely in contention to win the whole thing. This is one team I think will disappoint. Like you, you said, still so, a yeah. good team. Yeah, I do. They're going mean, to not win that one have, or two games. Historically, they, they have disappointed a little bit. Yeah. It always seems to be the same deal. They just yeah. they just can't figure out how to have a, an effective downfield passing game, even when they have an awesome running back and uh, and, and and an awesome core of receivers. Right? Sure. Absolutely. And uh, mark my words, uh, Les Miles, he'll be looking for a job after this season. You think Trust so? Me. Yes, you I think do. so? There's no really? doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. So, so then you think that, uh, wow, all right. I'm so, looking to yeah. fade them against some of the big schools, and uh, stay tuned. I will fill you in. All right, so LSU is officially our first team yes. to uh, disappoint. I mean, yep. again, when, no you're, when you're ranked number three going into the pre going into a week one, it's very easy to, a lot easier to disappoint than, yep. to, than to overachieve. Sure, then yeah. uh, let's see, what else do we have? We got uh, Oklahoma. They have the fifth shortest odds to win the championship. What do you think? Do you think well, you know what? what do you think? This is a year that they very well could disappoint because mm -hmm. in years past when they're profiled to be one of the best teams talent everything that's the years that they underachieve and when they have yeah. their mediocrity and all that then they do well I don't know what it is about stoops mm -hmm. but I really pistol Pete I think I'm on the edge with it I'm on the ledge or I should say but I think yeah I, I would say if I had to put it out I think they're going to disappoint a little bit okay. I really do because there's so much pressure on them this year more so than than last all right are there any other teams in the top 10 or getting down to, to the mid-range teams that you think uh, might still uh, disappoint be overvalued going into the season ah uh, don't know don't know there's a few that I'm, I'm just kind of any questioning. off the top of your head UCLA is one that we've mentioned well, a of few course times. and we have and yes I think they I think they will actually mm -hmm. and again that comes from coaching so I'll put it out there I think Jim Mora Jr. once again is going to have a filled roster with talent and uh, just does not know how to keep it all in order and, and just program. He does not know how to run that team. Mm -hmm. I just feel that. So, yeah, I think that's definitely a team that's not only going to disappoint, but I think they're going to be out of the rankings sooner than later. One that I'm scratching my head about a little bit is Washington, right? Now, Washington, typically a team that, uh, you know, overachieves and uh, and uh, and coach, uh, God, what, it's, what the hell is his name? Yeah, I know. And if you wouldn't have asked me, I would know because we just did a video Peterson, on him. Peterson. Peterson. He's uh, Chris Peterson, Peterson. Peterson. Yeah, is a team that is a coach that typically uh, has, has teams overachieving, but but now, Boise State? Yeah, now they're ranked 11. They have the 11 shortest odds to win the national championship. Uh, shorter Loaded than, shorter than Oregon. Starters, yeah. Shorter than Oregon. I know. And uh, yeah, they've got, look, I'm just not not quite sure if the town, I mean, in college football, you got to have dynamic playmakers on offense to be a top 10 team, basically, yes, you know, no and uh, unless you're going to do it some other way. Uh, you know, I, I feel like even if they, like if they overachieve their talent, Maybe they're still just a top 15 team, you know? So maybe Washington's a team that might uh, disappoint a little bit, despite the fact that we think of them as, as, as a team that overachieves and um, always exceeds expectations. And, what of course, this, anything's possible, but I don't see that happening. This is one I'm going to have to go the other way. Mm -hmm. I, I think Washington's going to perform, and it comes from Coach Peterson. Yeah, this guy is a right, winner. He right, just drills it right. in. They are looking the best they've looked in preseason before the season starts in many, many years, Washington has. I don't think they're going to disappoint. I think they're really going to hold some value, and I'm looking for them to cash a lot of tickets on certain spots. Yeah, they do have one big playmaker coming back on, on offense, which will yeah. help. I think his name is Reed. I forgot his yeah. name. But, uh, but yeah, it... Uh Maybe, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it all himself. We'll see. It'll be an interesting team. I, yes. I did a, I did a specific uh, call on on Washington with Ed Fang, and Ooh, he agreed. He agreed that uh, that he thought that he would lean at least towards the uh, their the, the under with their with their season okay. win total. And Ed knows his stuff yeah. too, by the way. And then uh, also, I'm thinking about maybe maybe Houston. You know, Houston is one of these yeah. teams that they're, 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 they're you know they're a mid under the radar team, under the radar team, but now. 
their expectations are a little bit high because Greg Ward Jr. Yeah, yeah. was so great. But I mean, first of all, if he gets injured, he's a small guy. If he gets injured, yeah. then uh, then clearly uh, I would say have them on a lean. I can see them disappointing before I would yeah. even come close to saying. Washington. They also have some numbers that 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 suggest to me that they got a little bit lucky uh, last year, and mm -hmm. uh, and that luck might be a little bit difficult to uh, to repeat here. So uh, Pete, I think Houston, Oregon might disappoint. Mm, really? Tell yeah. us why. Tell I, us why. I just think still still. Chip Kelly's space has not been filled. Phil Knight can have all the money in the but world. But he's not the and coach anymore. I understand yeah. that. <laughs> but that vacancy has not been filled with the same type mm -hmm. of intensity, the same type of egotistical driven, um, you know, for performance, to, for the results. I see this team maybe, I, I'm serious, I'm looking to fade them on certain spots. I don't think they're going to be as great as people think. Okay, well, we, we've, we've discussed Oregon before, and just sure to, to, to reiterate what we've discussed, I'm, I'm uh, cautiously high on Oregon because they still have just, just elite-level talent. Yes. And no. speed, yes. Roster wide, the big issue, of course, is quarterback. Will the uh, transfer from from uh, yeah. from Montana State? And again, when someone's yeah. getting transferred, they're bringing in a system they already knew. Yes. And sometimes these younger kids, it's hard. You know, you want them to learn your system, and so they're facing that also. And again, we broke down that video, and that was one of the top uh, points. And Vernon we, Adams was good, though. He wasn't yeah. Mariota good, but no, but, but he, he was, was good. good. And yeah. the reason that that they struggled was was when he went down. Yes, you know? and they struggled mightily. So. Yeah, so it's it's the the, the quarterback Prukop is is the huge huge X factor question mark. But I'm telling you, if he is if he is if he's as good as as capable as as Adams was last year, they're going to have okay. betting value because they do have they're just so deep at wide receiver with the typical speed that they've had all those. I'm other a little years. concerned with their defense. They're giving up a ton of right. points. That's what I really think I'm going to make my right. money is going to be fading that and doing some totals on them right. fading them. So. Yeah, but their and, and their defense gets much more worn down when the offense and that's what happened with Vernon Adams Absolutely. when the offense isn't uh, keeping them off the field. Yeah. They get worn down. So if the offense is as good as as it as it can be, uh, the defense won't be as big of a lie. Sure. So it, it, it'll, it's an interesting team. I can certainly it see is. your argument for uh, for thinking that Oregon's Absolutely. going to uh, disappoint, and they're uh, they're uh, right behind uh, Washington, so they're top fifteen in terms of uh, yep. in terms of yep. uh, odds to win the national championship. I need to point this out. It's not okay. a top ten team, but it's one I think is going to disappoint because it's going to get some hype because of the coach that went there. But it's going to take time, and I don't think the coach is capable of turning around this program. Miami, Mark Rick, mm -hmm. Georgia fires him. Miami hires him. Because of the name and where he came from in an SEC school, I think a little overvalue slips in here, Pete. And I also think that even though they're not a top 10 team, they're still going to disappoint because people think they're just going to, this is going to change Miami now that Al Golden's out of town. It's going to take some time. I'm telling you, the same talent that they used to get recruiting-wise is nowhere near what it used to be, and I don't believe Mark Rick's the man for the job. I'm fading Miami. Look out. Okay. Spots. Sounds good. Mike Brenner. I'm so ready, Pistol. <laughs> are, are, let me ask you a question. Please I'm do. Afraid for the, are you fired up for college football? My God, I'm fired up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We will be back with more videos uh, up until uh, kickoff for college football, and then week one, we'll be there previewing the week one spread. That's right. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.